Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Quilter. Today we are going to be working on the Ruby Sampler quilt block, but it's gonna be a little bit different today. I'm going to be working on the Irish pinwheel chain block. And so this block is the block that goes in between each of the specific fancy star blocks, okay? So there are a lot of them and it actually covers four months of the entire quilt along, which was a 12 month quilt along. Once I finish with these, I think I only have three more months of quilt blocks to make, and I do believe one of those is actually putting the quilt together. So we are really getting close to finishing this quilt top, and then we'll be ready to get it onto the long arm machine and get to quilting. So. Also important news is that I am going to be filming this a little bit differently. I've bought a piece of equipment to change the view whenever I film these. So hopefully you guys like it. Um, if you do, make sure to comment down below. Let me know that you enjoyed this new video format. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day and let's get to sewing. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to grab our directions that tell us what we need to cut. I'm gonna grab Best Press and I dilute this in half and half. I just bought one bottle and then have filled it up ever since. So half of Best Press and then um, the rest with water and not always 50-50, just enough to keep it a nice pretty blue color. And then we're gonna get all of our fabric that we need for the blocks and we're gonna press it to make sure it's nice and flat and then we'll get to cutting. Let's do this. Okay, now that we've got all of our fabric pressed and ready to go, we're gonna start cutting out all of our pieces and then we'll be ready to start piecing them. Because this pattern is not mine, it is a pattern that I purchased from Connecting Threads and Kristen Gassaway is the creator of this pattern. You guys can check out in the links below and if you're interested in purchasing this quilt pattern and doing it yourself, she has lots of beautiful other patterns that are uh, I would recommend checking out as well. So I'm not going to share sizes of anything that I'm cutting, but I am going to go ahead, start cutting and show you how we'll put the block together, okay? <laughs> So now that we have got all of our blocks cut, just this is what they look like here. We're going to take all of these blocks and put them together. So what we're going to do is starting with these two blocks here. So you're going to take these two, stack them right sides together, make your line, well, make your line down the center so a quarter inch away from either side and when you do that you'll end up with what looks like this okay once you have this you want to take press them and then you're going to cut down your center line so that you have this right here this half square triangle and you're going to do that twice Thank you. 
once you've cut all of these, you're going to open them up, press them according to the directions, and then what you'll end up with is this. I also like to square up my blocks as I go. And another thing of note, if you are marking this, if you're marking it with a water soluble mark be gone, you want to, before you press this, you want to get rid of that. Now, I don't generally like to use my water soluble on these because I don't like to, after I have sprayed my fabric and ironed it, I don't like to put water on it again because every time you put water or spray of any kind on here, your fabric's going to shrink a little bit and then that's going to distort your squares a little bit. So if I'm cutting on the line, I generally will just use a pin or a pencil because in the end of it, you can't see the line once I square everything up, okay? So after you cut this, this is the tricky bit of the whole thing. So you want to line these up so that you have a windmill effect here. All right, and so what you'll do is sew these two bits together, a quarter inch seam, fold them over, quarter inch seam. I like to line up my seams to keep it nice and straight. Sew your quarter inch across, and then what you're left with is this. So the next part, as you imagine, would be to fold this over, sew your quarter inch seam, mark up your seams, and you may even want to put a pin in there to hold it in place. Once you do this, you're left with this block. Um, again, I like to go through and square this block up and make sure that it looks, it looks good. Now comes the fun part of the block actually really starting to look like a quilt block. So you're going to take your pieces, go ahead and put those on the side. You're going to take your white fabric that you cut, put that on the side. And again, you could do this with any color fabric, but this is for our red and white Ruby sampler quilt. So we're going red and white here. You're going to go ahead, sew these together, sew these together. And then once these are sewn, you'll go through and sew this way. Quarter inch seam for everything. Once you've done that and pressed it open, this is what you're left with. Okay, and this, again, I go through and we'll square this up. And then this is what makes the chain, the Irish chain part of this block, is these little red blocks that you see right here, okay? So you're going to take your larger white pieces and put four more red blocks on the outer bits here. And so as we go, these little red blocks are going to intersect with each other and they're going to make that chain pattern throughout the quilt that makes it so pretty. And so again, we want to sew quarter inch seam on either side, press quarter inch seam on either side press and then fold over to do a quarter inch seam either way there. Once you do that, you will be left with your final quilt block. All right, everybody, that is the block right there. And as you can see, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, as I was saying on your chain pieces here that you've got, in order to get those as accurate as possible, I recommend squaring up at every step of the way. If you do that, your block is gonna stay consistent. Now, the other thing that you can do is to sort of cheat a little bit, is to do a, instead of a quarter inch seam, do a narrow quarter inch seam, and that'll give you a little bit of wiggle room. Now, overall, if you quilt and or piece your quilt top consistently the same way, it doesn't matter because your quilt top's gonna look great. So if you're consistently short an eighth of an inch around the entire quilt block and the rest of your quilt blocks are short an eighth of an inch all the way around, it's gonna look fine. 
but you don't want to have quilt tops where one is 100% perfect and the other one is a half an inch short. That's going to be very noticeable. So as with everything in quilting, it's not about perfection, but it's about doing it consistently. And that way your quilt looks good. It doesn't look like a mess up if you do it repeatedly. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you liked this format, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of it and uh, we'll keep on quilting. We've got a few more months to go on our Ruby sampler and I've got a few more blocks to quilt of this one. Thanks. Y'all have a great day.